made it to Melbourne, no. Matt. I'm we so, did it. I got you here. I just love walking around the streets of Melbourne and finding something that I've never seen before. It's always exciting and there's always something new. Do you remember when you used to go out for breakfast and you'd just get eggs and bacon? <laughs> How it's changed. This is like a whole next level. And you know, that, that's a great thing I suppose with cafes nowadays, especially in Melbourne, because they've really had that cafe culture. All right, let's get breakfast. That's yours. That's mine. You've been eyeing that off anyway. Right. Is it a cafe? Is it a restaurant? Do you go for breakfast? Is it brunch? Is it dinner? You know, they, they just do what they want to do and I love that part of it and they, they get away with it. I've heard about this place so many times, Tivoli Bakery, but I've actually never been here. Have you? No. And now, <laughs> and now it kind of just confirms what everyone says. That looks absolutely delightful. That sandwich is amazing. And then another sausage roll. We love a sausage roll. I love a sausage roll. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome. You don't mind a bit of lamb? I love, I love a bit of lamb. This is Victorian lamb. Victorian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we serve it with um, a pureed almond yeah. and uh, paprika mm. and peppers and yeah. chilies. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cook down to a paste. Where's the other half? Okay, tell us. Well, guys, have a great lunch and have a great time in London. Let's go. So, Kerry, I've got a confession to make. Every time I come to Melbourne, without question, I always come to Embla. I love the, the ease, the, the casualness. It's always got the perfect balance. God, we're going to be full by the end of the night. Never. Australia's really hot. You know, people, people want to come out here. People are really interested in, in what we're doing, what we're making. And, you know, it's about bloody time. So this is a beef tartare. And you've got a calamari. Otway shiitake mushrooms with kelp. Yeah. And Wakani soup as well. The kitchen is literally just a barbecue. It's a glorified yeah, large right. wood grill. So and nothing else? No, we have no gas. Thanks for having us. moonshine for you. I don't want to leave. Well done, buddy. Cheers, well thank you. So this kind of wraps up everything I'm about. Australian ingredients, native ingredients. Snag on the barbie, a little bunny steak. Oh, that's fantastic. I love Should it. Should we eat? Yeah, one of the two. That's bloody good. So I'm talking like an Aussie now. I was going to say. Bloody great, mate. It's Aussie. Yeah, you but know? chic. Yeah. Arlequin, the Grossi family's best secret bar in Melbourne, right? This building was purchased by a new landlord and he carved this little space out right in our back laneway. We thought, well, what are we going to do with this? We need to create something. And we thought a little laneway bar in Melbourne would be just the thing. You've got, to, you've got to tell me what this is. This looks amazing. They are a, a bolognese jackal. And this is actually, this is one of Carlo's inventions. So a little midnight spaghetti. And it's become kind of the center of the menu, okay, the signature. Know. It's gangbusters and it is really delicious. That's exactly what you want late at night. Hey, hey. <laughs> so lucky, hashtag grateful. Thank you. I love it that you love it. it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> These will. <laughs>